Next presenting company is Lumito with CEO Mattias Lundin. Welcome, Mattias. Thank you very much, Olivia, uh, and thank you all. Uh, it's, it's my great pleasure to present uh, Lumito. Lumito is, uh, is a company based uh, here in Lund with a, a, an innovative digital um, tissue diagnostic solution. And the plan and the strategy is to launch our very first product at the end of this year. And then uh, oft, after that, uh, as, as soon as possible, also launch a clinical version uh, of, the, of that product. So what uh, value uh, does the product bring to the table, to the diagnostic table? Well, the technology uh, enables uh, higher contrast than, uh, than the products uh, in the market today. Uh, um, we don't have any uh, disturbing background uh, in our images. So that gives a, a very precise image, uh, which is uh, uh, easier to, to evaluate and diagnose. We have dual modality, uh, that means that we are able to show uh, a standard uh, classic uh, image uh, of, of, a, of a tissue uh, and also the UCMP, the nanoparticle labeled uh, image, uh, that, that, that we can combine those two in one single tissue, which uh, is, is not possible anywhere else. Uh, we have uh, very high photostability in our images, so no um, photo bleaching uh, that are um, commonly a problem with the immunofluorescence uh, th that are used today. So this leads to uh, that we believe we can release uh, resources and increase accuracy and minimizing errors in the diagnosis of cancer. So efficiency and quality is what we are bringing to the table uh, uh, with our new uh, technology. My name is Matthias Lundin uh, and I'm the CEO of Lumito. I have a background in medtech since uh, 17 years in different companies, helping companies uh, growing and being profitable across the globe. The most recent company uh, that, that, I, that I'm coming from is uh, world leading Cellavision, uh, which is also having their base here in, in Lund. I'm working uh, with a, 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 quite a small team, a very ambitious small team of 15 people currently uh, that, that are, are, are talented and, and really focusing on the tasks of, of, of getting our product out in the market. So what base are we standing on uh, for, for our, our, our product and our solution? Well, it's a huge market with a very nice uh, solid growth. We have a value-adding uh, patented uh, technology and we are having uh, flexible and scalable uh, business models which is leading to recurring revenues. So I believe uh, that we are really having a great potential uh, with this company. So following our, our strategy, our clear strategy that we have, uh, we are also delivering on, on our milestones. And the past quarter, I just wanted to mention uh, some of the, the, the key milestones that we passed. So the first one uh, is the um, ISO certificate that we, we got uh, in Q1. Uh, and this is uh, the ISO 1, uh, 13485 is essential uh, in order to sell a clinical product. So you need to have that. So now we already have that in place, which is very good for us. The, the other thing is that we are uh, continuing doing very important pilot studies and pre-studies. And, and one uh, actually was concluded uh, by the end of, of, um, of um, the quarter. Uh, and I will come back to that one, which is very encouraging and, 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 and uh, good for us. Uh, the third area uh, is that we assign now an agreement uh, with Optronic, a Swedish company up uh, from the north, uh, and, and they will then be our production partner. So we need to have a partner to produce our scanner, and now that is in place, uh, and that's a great milestone for us. And then finally, uh, we have been uh, recruiting uh, three key recruitments, uh, one uh, which is in the hardware area to really getting the, the, the expertise also in hardware for the scanner. 
It's been uh, outsourced for a de with a development company, TTP, in Cambridge. And now we are getting uh, more of that uh, competence in-house as well. Uh, the other area is a, 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 a re um, um, increased resources in chemistry in order to scale up the, um, the, the possibilities and the production of the reagents. And finally, also a clinical expertise in order to be able to secure the clinical value of our product in the next generation after the research uh, product that we are launching by the end of this year. So what about the market? What is driving the market? Well, it is the growing elderly population across the globe. Uh, th there is more specialized uh, cancer care. Uh, so really more samples are getting into the labs and the pathologists. But the, the, the amount of pathologists uh, are not necessarily growing in the same pace. So the solution to this scenario is technology. And we believe that our technology uh, is, is, uh, is capable and, and will, will be contributing um, to that uh, equ equation and having the solution for that partly. When it comes to uh, amount of money, we're looking at the market uh, for tissue diagnostics, it's a huge market uh, with close to 50 billion sec. It's growing nicely by almost 8% and is projected uh, for the next up to 2028 to have that growth. Uh, on the digital side, which is the Lumito area, uh, the growth is, uh, is uh, twice as much, so it's uh, almost 14% growth. So I think that there is really um, uh, a, a huge market with nice possibilities. When it comes to amount of labs, addressable potential labs for, for, for our solution, uh, the, est the estimation is uh, close to 40,000 labs. Uh, one third is research and two thirds uh, are clinical labs. So here are um, examples on, on our images. To the left, um, uh, you, you see um, a, a, a traditional um, uh, image with a traditional staining or labeling of, of the tissue. Um, and, and to the far right, you see our uh, special, unique, patented uh, way of showing images. So it's the, the, the white area. Uh, which is so showing the area that the pathologist wants to look at and the black becomes blacks because we don't have any any uh, autofluorescence any background noise uh, of light coming coming back in the middle you're having the DAB labeling which is a commonly used for um, uh, for cancer diagnostics for example here we, we used for the example of, of, of having a, a Hamamatsu scanner, so uh, you know a potential um, uh, comp competitive scanner showing the image quality between our and, and their uh, in, the, in, this, in this perspective. So, and we can then combine the traditional one, the, the, the old way, if you will, and the new way, which is then uh, the UCMP or the, the Lumito way. And then you can toggle on and off and, 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 and uh, mixing these um, images or, or changing them. Uh, and and the, 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 the advantage here is that we are only showing uh, the exact area where the pathologist wants to, to look. Uh, so the pathologists are led to spend their time on the, the, the potential sick uh, tissue rather than the healthy tissue. So many, many studi studies are actually showing that pathologists are spending a lot of time looking at healthy tissue because it's difficult to tell. Uh, here we are providing something more granular and precise, which is then uh, releasing uh, time and efficiency for the pathologist. One milestone that we passed uh, uh, last autumn uh, was really to having the statement that our quality of our images are uh, good. Uh, so here we're having Dr. Bo Holmquist, who's actually working around in this area in Lund. Uh, and he was stating uh, that Lumito's Im imaging now have um, the high histological and diagnostic 
quality, which was a, a great um, acknowledgement, I would say, that we are now having the right quality. Uh, and, and, and I think also uh, the other part here, which is then moreover a digital assessment of the image material. So not only the visual um, was on good quality, but he could also see the advantages of us being so precise that the digital assessment, the ground for making quantifications and things like that uh, is there in our images, which is then for the next step uh, entering into making, in, making solutions for decision support with, with some quali um, quantification and AI, if you will. Um, so that's, uh, that was very encouraging for us. The most recent uh, pre-study that we finalized in, in, in uh, Q1, it was actually starting by the end of um, last year uh, in December uh, with Umeå University. So it's a research group there uh, that were very interested in, in, in um, testing our technology uh, on, on some uh, pancreas cancer uh, diagnosis. And I think this was also a, a very nice uh, acknowledgement. So they are coming back after that study and saying Lumito's technique has improved the ability to visualize uh, the penetration of secreted pro proteins into tumor stroma compared to other immunohistochemical methods. So meaning that our technology was better than what they've been testing so far. Uh, and what's available in the market, which is really great, and that's what we are looking for in order to, to add value uh, to the diagnostics going forward. So, what about the product? Um, the product is a scanner, so that's what you see to the far left. A scanner with LED light and also with laser light. And then in the middle you're having a small bottle, which is the reagent kit. The reagent is then uh, put on the tissue, on the glass slides of the tissue, with a labeling with nanoparticles. And then the combination with loss laser and nanoparticles, that's kind of the trick, if you will. It leads them to the results to the right, which is the digital image. And here you see, the, to, the, to, the, to the right, the blue part is then the traditional way of seeing it, and to the left part is the Lumito way of, of showing um, the very same tissue. Uh, this, of course, brings the benefits of dig digitization, so the pathologist can sit uh, uh, far away from where the actual uh, uh, instrument is standing or the, or the tissue sample is, is uh, um, placed. So, so that gives all the benefits of, of ma making the, the um, diagnosis uh, digital or the analysis of the material uh, digital and can be shared between experts and so on. When it comes to, um, to um, business models, we are planning to launch two of them. Uh, one is having a scanner as a capital goods and with uh, reagent sales as, as a consumable. So for each and every slide that are going into the scanner, it needs to be labeled or stained with uh, our uh, reagent. Uh, the other one is, is then uh, that the customer is financing the scanner through uh, re reagent purchase. So, so placing the scanner, having a contract over many years, and, and, and then uh, they, they are buying the, the, uh, the, um, the reagent from us uh, and by doing so, uh, ha having the financing of, of the scanner. This is commonly used in IVD, uh, by the way. So it's, not a, it's, it's nothing, nothing um, strange or so. so, so uh, and, and I believe that this will give the, the, um, the customer uh, the opportunity to enhance uh, a new technology without putting uh, 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 an investment um, from day one on the table. A little bit about the technology. Um, so uh, at, the, at the far bottom you see a, a, a squared uh, piece. So that's, that's the glass slide where you're putting the tissue. And the green dots is the tissue um, that, that is placed. Then the, the pathologist wants to look at a specific protein or antigen, which is the, uh, the orange dots. 
and those would then uh, will, will be marked uh, with the primary antibody. Uh, and this is also commonly used, been used for 20, 30 years uh, in labs uh, today. Then we are able to bind to those primary antibodies with our secondary antibody and uh, nanoparticles. So that's the chain of binding, which is working uh, very well and it works time after time. Uh, and, and then uh, we are having uh, the laser light uh, on, on the, the nanoparticles, uh, emitting them, uh, and then it, 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 it's uh, emission back with a visual light uh, that we are able to take images on with our digital camera within the scanner. So that's how the te technology works, uh, and it's completely unique uh, and also patented. As a summary, uh, we have a, 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 a huge market with a, with a solid growth, a market that needs new technologies in order to cope with the, with the, with the, 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 the growing um, uh, area or gr growing samples uh, coming in. Uh, we having the answer of that, uh, a value adding, patenting, uh, cutting edge technology. We are having flexible and scalable business models which is leading to recurring revenues. So we believe uh, this is a great uh, potential. And finally, uh, for your information, uh, there is a, uh, is a trading of uh, warrants uh, that are uh, <clears throat> up to um, August 31st. So uh, yeah, just uh, as, as you know that. So, so finally, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, and please join us in, in our journey, and the journey uh, is continuing now today. So thank you very much. And thank you for your presentation. You, you plan to launch in research laboratories this year. What yes. remains to be done before this can happen? Yeah, we, as, as, I, as I said, we, we have been now signing a contract with Optronic. Uh, so, so we are now doing the final, final design um, and then uh, starting the, the pre-production and the zero serial production throughout the fall. So, so the, actually the final design and then industrialization together with Optronic and then the, the first, first production. Uh, that that uh, are, are the three areas that needs to be done before launch. Yeah. And how are you utilizing your background from Salavision in the role as CEO of Limitl? Yeah, well, first of all, um, one of the reasons that I'm here that I've seen quite, quite a lot of similarities between Salavision and Lumito. And of course, I, I, was, I was responsible for the, 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 global, um, uh, the globalization uh, with, with, with Salavision, and I in, intend to do the uh, very same thing with, with Lumito. And the technologies are, are quite similar, one for hematology, and, 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 and we are then for, for tissue diagnostics uh, with, with samples of, of tissue instead. So, um, yeah, uh, it, it, it's, it's interesting times. Yeah, interesting, and thank you for joining us today in the studio. Thank you very much.